Good morning, welcome to Everything Our Remote is in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Volkswagen Touareg 3 litre V6 TDI R line Blue Motion Tech finished off in a nice metallic black. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the uh, car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we're using the prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back round to the start, I'll zoom back in, we'll look over the car once again but in greater detail. Starting at the near side front corner, looking back down towards the rear, near side front wing looks in good condition, near side front and near side rear doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy, nice condition alloy for the age mileage of the car, one or two tiny little marks but nothing major. Near side front tyre also has a good four or five mil tread remaining. All the panel work, looks in nice condition if anything one or two tiny little marks to be polished up and touched in as you'd expect but one mark just on the door handle there to be touched in nothing major down that near side near side rear alloy same again a nice condition alloy if anything one or two light marks the near side for rear tire approximately four or five mil remaining looking back down the near side from rear to front near side rear quarter in good condition Near side rear and front doors, good condition, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. All that near side corner and the reflectors look good. Even the uh, loading area for the age of the car looks in really good condition. You do get light marks. There is a protective strip on there, but it looks in good condition. Around the offside corner, one or two tiny, tiny marks to be polished up and touched in but other than that all looks really well there is a tow bar fitted to this car already but rear factory parking sensors as well tail lights and tailgate look in good condition rear screen looks good with a factory privacy glass and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks good both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good Offside rear alloy, nice condition alloy again, one or two light marks if any. And the offside rear tyre, approximately four or five mil of tread remaining. Offside rear quarter, we've had this car, had a quick wash, but will be professionally revalidated prior to sale, so we've got a couple of water marks there. Tiny, tiny little scratch just along there. Try and get it out of the sun so you can see it, just to be polished up and touched in best we can prior to sale. One or two light marks that will, uh, I think we'll polish off there as well on the door. Again, age related light marks just along the panels, but the panel itself is in good condition. A couple of water marks again, all looking okay. Offside front alloy, again, a nice condition alloy, only one or two light marks to the outer edge, but nothing warranting a refurb. And the offside front tire, approximately four or five mil again. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors look good, and the offside rear quarter looks good as well. Moving around the front of the car, checking out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car, it's in really good condition. You do have eight, obviously, age-related little marks, scuffs. One little mark down here, really low down on the splitter to be polished up and touched in. Other than that, one or two like stone chips to touch in. All looks in really nice condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork on the bonnet's in good condition. There's no major chips or, sorry, no major dents or scratches or anything like that. There are one or two light stone chips to be touched in. Again, only age related. There's nothing really bad, nothing major. Again, a couple of marks, that's a watermark. Other than that, age of mileage, it looks in really nice condition. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. Doesn't appear to be any major chips or cracks. A couple of light surface marks just in the center there, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior of the car. Starting in the boot, we've got a power tailgate on this car, which is a nice feature. Really big boot on these Tuaregs. You've got 60-40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics look in good condition other than light wear and tear. These mats, if they're for this car and fits, are bonuses. We don't supply floor mats with any of our cars, as you can see. 
all trims and everything look really good even along the loading area of the car other than a few light marks we've got some light marks just along the uh, underside of the boot lid there but other than that all looks good moving through the interior now so the rear door cards are in good condition there you have the rear leather bench three factory headrests three three-point seat belts and nice fixed fittings to both outer seats no horrible uh, tears or excessive wear or anything like that panoramic roof they're out in good condition backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets look good too front door cards in good condition front carpets look good again a couple of little marks off my shoe front leather bolster still firm holding their shape no excessive wear no rips no tears no cigarette burns there's no traces of any odors in this car passenger seats just as nice no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all so we'll start this car up and we'll run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can so we've got full electronic windows with electronic child lock control central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle with your electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors automatic lights and wipers in this car we have cruise control on the sort just underneath the indicators moving up the center console we do have a fully adjustable split armrest this passenger one does just need uh, sorting out in our workshop so that it uh, doesn't come away like that two usable cup holders you've got stop start traction control and the on road off road control on these twarags we've got electronic parking brake we've got automatic hold we've got stop start control keyless automatic dsg transmission in the center console as you can see we've got dual climate control air conditioning recirculation and front heated leather seats moving up to the mmi as you can see you've got all the controls in the center there but as we work through the best we can we've got full parking sensors with optical display in radio we have dab and a few other options you can see there in media a few options including your bluetooth audio streaming full telephone prep got climate control that comes up on the screen we've got satellite navigation as well moving back over to the driver's side we're finished off with this leather bound multi-function steering wheel with the optional flappy paddles and this car is on if i can just get the mileage up for you in uh, vehicle i believe it will come up if i switch the car off Eighty-eight thousand four hundred and eighty-two miles Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.